Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at learn the four basic variable types in PLC programming. Now there are four fundamental variable types in PLC programming, Boolean, integer, real, and string. This is a universal concept for all PLC programming, but needs to be clarified due to the acronyms and various names used by manufacturers and PLC hardware. Your controller programming manual will help you understand the terms of the variables in your hardware. It is essential to understand the different types of variables available to you, the programmer. You will explore each of the four variable types, breaking down what they are and how they are used in programming with your controller. Let's dive in. Detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. Boolean variables are the simplest type of variable. They are used when the variable needs to be in one of two states, often referred to as true or false. These states can also be referred to as on, off, or one or zero. Typically, a ladder logic program will include these Boolean variables called digital inputs, digital outputs, bits, bools, etc. You usually think of ladder logic programming when looking at Boolean variables. We use discrete digital inputs and output boolean in this program example to create a start-stop circuit. Normally open and normally closed ladder logic contacts will take the boolean variable as it is or inverse it. You can see that the stop bit is reversed in our example. Boolean variables are often used as flags in programming to indicate if a specific condition has occurred or not. For example, in a program to check if a variable is equal to a particular value, the variable's flag may be set to true if the two values match, or false if they don't. Integer variables are the second most common type of PLC variable. They represent numeric values that are usually stored as a 2-byte, 16-bit number. Usually called registers or words, these numbers can be 8, 16, or 32 bit. They can be signed or unsigned, meaning the negative numbers are possible. Our ladder logic example uses the increment and decrement instruction on a 16 bit integer called INT. Switch 3 will increment the register, and switch 4 will decrement the register. Integers are typically used for all types of mathematical calculations, as well as for counting, timing, and other numeric measures. They can also store negative numbers as well as huge numbers. If we call up the Windows calculator on the computer, we can look at these integers values more closely. Our standard calculator comes up as default. Select the three lines or pancake beside the standard name and select Programmer. This programming calculator will show you the bits binary for the integer value we enter. The default is Q word or 64 bit. Changes to double word, D word, which is 32 bit. Enter the value of 100,000 on the calculator. The hexadecimal, octal, and binary values will be displayed. Remember that these values are just representations of the integer number. Real variables are a type of floating point number that are typically used to represent numbers with fractional or decimal parts. They are usually stored as 4 byte 32 bit numbers and can hold extensive ranges of numbers, both positive and negative. They are commonly used in programs that require high accuracies, such as programs that require calculations based on measurements of temperature, pressure, or other physical properties. This example will convert degrees Celsius into degrees Fahrenheit using the formula F equals 9 divided by 5 times degrees C plus 32. You can see that 20.2 degrees Celsius converts to 68.32 Fahrenheit. The last type of fundamental variable in a PLC is string variables which store text or character data. They are typically stored as an array of bytes allowing an unlimited number of characters. 
A byte is eight bits, which are 256 numbers. This will represent a character in the language. The most common use for string variables in a program that needs to interact with the user, such as programs that collect information from the user or provide output to the user. They are also used for messages and PLCs that send emails. In our example, if input six is on, then the ASCII string switches on is copied to the destination tag. If input six is off, the string switches off is copied. Further information can be found in our post, What Everyone Ought to Know About PLC Numbering Systems. This will give more detail about the variables used in PLC programming. PLC programming uses various variable types to provide robust and detailed automation solutions. Understanding the different types of variables available, such as Boolean, integer, real, and string, is essential to use this technology effectively. By understanding the various capabilities of each variable, you, the programmer, can ensure that your programs are both robust and reliable. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.